Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Well, I'm back with another video. And um, I felt led to come on here and encourage someone. Um, it's been a, probably a week or two before I've been on here. So I want to encourage you. My name is Pastor Merlin Boyd. And I am uh, the pastor of the Fresh Anointing Christian Fellowship Church. Um, Nashville, Tennessee, 97 Lyle Lane. Uh, the name of this channel is Nuggets for Life. And um, I just like to come on and encourage people, you know, because we're going through so much in these these last days. Um, but before we go any further, I'm asking that you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, thumbs up. Share the video. Um, it's going to be very encouraging. Share the video. And you can even write a message um, to my email address and I'll be looking for it. Uh, let's see. So so let's go on. Let's, let's, let's go on with it. Um, if Let's pray. Father God, we come in the name of Jesus, thanking you for this day. We thank you for our lives, our health, and our strength. We thank you because you're an awesome, awesome God. And so, God, we come on here today, Father, asking that you would let this channel go where you want it to go. Send it to millions, to whoever needs to hear this. Father, you set it up where they can hear it. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to be coming from Psalms, the 34th number, the 15th verse. But I'm going to... Uh, the main thing I want you to want to say is, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. The, that's the first verse. The 15th verse says, this is where I want to focus. God's eyes is watching over you. And he sees everything that you're going through. If you're righteous, no good thing will he withhold from you. Mm -hmm. God's ears are open. He hears your cry. Somebody saying, Lord, help me. I can't do this anymore. I can't handle this situation any longer if you are righteous and you are crying the Lord hears your cry I know he does and he will deliver us out of all our troubles do you believe that do you believe that the Lord is near to the broken hearted and there are some people that may come on here later and your heart has been broken. Maybe you lost someone and your heart is broken. I just came from singing at a funeral and the woman lost her mother. Her heart was broken. Maybe you lost someone and your heart is broken. And maybe you could have lost some things. Your heart is broken. Mm -hmm. You maybe even could have lost your boyfriend, your husband, your girlfriend. Your heart is broken. And you never thought that you would be without him. Because it started off like the, the book says, the fairy book, the fairy tale book says. And they lived hap happily ever after. But you find yourself having to do everything by yourself. You find yourself struggling 
and maybe even have to be homeless. You find yourself in a place that you've never been before. It's scary. You're heartbroken. And I hear you crying out to God. Night and day. Lord, if you don't do something, I'm not going to make it. I hear you crying out. Lord, if you don't help me, I'm going to have to take my own life. Lord, if you don't help me, I'm going to faint. I come today to tell you, don't faint. Don't give up. God sees your tears. God hears your cry. Beloved, we have to go through many afflictions as a Christian. That's what it says. In, 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 in Psalms 34 and 19, it says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Ah, but God, but God, but God, when you put that but on that, it, it's something else behind it. But God delivers us out of them all. Not some of them, all of them. He's concerned about your, your feelings. He's concerned about your heart. He's concerned how you, how you, how you, how you feel. He's concerned about your tears. I know he is. Because he had compassion. Even on Lazarus. And he wept. He's concerned. About whatever. Is hurting his children. The Lord is near. The broken hearted. And he saves those with a contrite spirit. That's Psalms 34 and and in 18. The Lord is our keeper. He will not suffer your feet to be moved. The Lord. He, his eyes are upon you. He knows everything about you. He's watching you. But beloved, I need to call your faith back. Come on, let's get your faith back. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. Come on, build your faith back up. Build your faith back up. I know you're saying, how are you going to tell me to build my faith up when I'm about to lose everything or I've already lost everything? I'm alone. I don't have anybody and nobody cares about me. Nobody loves me. I'm just tired. Hmm. Sweetheart, cast your cares to God for he cares for you. His burdens are light. He can handle the heavy burden. If you would just only surrender and give it to him and watch him work in your life. God's eyes is watching over you. His eyes are watching over you. It seems like He's not listening. Seems like he's not watching. He sees everything that you're going through. And I came this afternoon to tell you. He said, I will deliver you. I will deliver you from your problem, from your situation. I'm fixing it right now. And while you're crying, I'm working it out for you, sweetie. I'm working it out for you. This is what God is saying. I'm working it out for you. I was riding in my car a few minutes ago coming home from the funeral. 
And I heard God say, I'm working it out for you. I heard you cry. When you first prayed, I heard it. I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting. But I can wipe away all tears. Uh-huh. But you have to be, bless me. You have to praise me at all times, regardless of what's going on. Whether it's good or bad. Sweet, I need you to praise me. I'm a jealous God. And no one else will ever get my glory. So I need you to praise me through your crying, through your tears. Praise me through your going through. Praise me even though you can't feel me. I'm working on your problem. I got your situation in my head. But I need you to keep praising. So that you can be able to receive the blessing when it comes. I know you're righteous. And I promised. No good thing. Will I withhold from you. I know you walk upright. I got you. My ears are open. To every cry. My ears are open. That's why I want you to praise me. Because I can hear you. I can hear you when you say, Lord, I love you. I adore you. I give you honor. I worship you. I lift my hands to you, Lord. Only you can fix my problem. God can handle anything. And you know what? Because you cried out to him. He said when you cry out to him, he'll save you. He'll save you more ways than one. If you're righteous and you're crying out to the Lord again, he hears your cry and he will deliver you out of all your troubles. And if you're not saved, you can still cry out. God, take over my life. I'm a sinner. I want you to come in my life and take full control. I believe that you are Jesus, the Son of God. I believe that God raised you from the dead. Come into my heart. I can't do this by myself anymore. And if you said that, and you really are sincere, and you really mean it, you're saved. Ah. This is just a nugget. But what I want you to do is share the video. It might not be for you, but someone is going through right now, and they need a word from the Lord. Share the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video. I love you, but God loves you more. See you next time.